One, two, three, go. What have we do to get your love? Dun, dun. Girl, I don't give you all I got, but there's nothing enough. Yo, okay. Show you fire me got a bottle. Now I be saying I don't forget enough of you. Yeah, what's in me that nothing I can do for my baby, my baby. Yeah, anytime when you need me come through, my my side, my side, what What in me that nothing I can do for my baby, my baby, my shorty, oh they yeah. Baby, show you there for me. Yeah. Hi, Joe Boy. Welcome to the sauce. Hi, thank you for having me. So, why the name Joe Boy? Okay, so um, Joe Boy was a nickname I got in secondary school. So, when I wanted to start music professionally, I couldn't think of a better name, so I just chose Joe Boy. Yeah, because yeah, my full name is Joseph Akinfen Wadun. So, um, Joe Boy was like a nickname for Joseph. So, I just chose Joe Boy. Yeah. You were one of the 100 artists to be selected for Empower. Yep. How was your experience? Um, it's been it's been great and motivating and I've learned a lot so far. God bless Mr. Easy for the initiative. Like the good stuff for like, I think it's first of its kind in Africa. Yes. Yes, and so, so and that's mad so yeah. Big ups Mr. Easy, big ups Empower. Yeah. What has it added to your craft as a musician, that experience? Okay. More experience, more network, more connection, like more more information basically like there are some stuff i didn't know like like a year ago that i know now because of empower so so i've learned a lot so far yeah. the model at empower seems to have cracked the code for creating big successes in kenya we have karun who was already a success but now blown up even more wanja wahoro and yourself um, if you had a few tips to give any upcoming artists in terms of marketing and branding yourself as a musician, what would you say? Okay, I'd say like social media is like the easiest and and like the most least expensive way to actually push out your music. If you have good content, trust me, if you can promote it well on social media, you are going to get somewhere. It's just a matter of time. So social media is powerful, yeah, and it's just your phone, yeah. Was there like a particular course or module you guys had to go through in terms of marketing and branding, understanding the business side of music? Because I feel like before you entered Empower, I did some research on you and your music on SoundCloud is popping, but the likes and maybe the listenership was a bit low. But now since you've gone to Empower, you're even doing you know, behind the scenes stuff and sharing that with your, uh, with your fans. Anything to say about that? Okay, so I'd say, um um, before, before baby, like I was just the artist that just had like a small fan base. Yeah, but they kept sharing my music, sharing and sharing. Then baby dropped and he blew up. So I guess that brought more attention to my social media and um, my streams and my page too. So yeah. Baby was like an instant hit. The like instant. Everyone in this office loves that song. Um, but then uh, you had the visualizer and the official video come out. Can you tell us why you had both come out? Yeah, so because like in Nigeria, like they are, they are some TV standards. They don't play animation. Mm. Yeah, and everybody was like, yeah, we want to see your face, we want to see what you look like and everything. So I had to put out the video just for that. Like, as you can see, the video was actually very simple. It wasn't too much. Mm. Yeah. Was it the same person who did Mr. Easy's visuals? Yeah, yeah, Poka, Poka GH. Shout out to Poka GH, yeah. Good job, he did a really good job. It looks like you. So which one out of the two actually do you prefer? Um, I love both too, but based on my observation and comments, I think people prefer the animation, which is also cool because uh, the video and the animation comes from one source. So it's a win-win. Yeah, so, okay, I think that's it. Yeah. So are you the one, like, did you actually dance it out so that he could animate no, no, it? No, no, that was Poker's, that was actually Poker's idea. Like, I'm not that much of a dancer yet, mm. yet, but I'm you going to be very good. Fast. No, no, just, just normal. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I wanted you to explain some of the lyrics. Yeah. You speak in Pigeon or is it your... I speak Pigeon, I speak Yoruba, I speak English. Uh -huh. I speak Ghanaian Pigeon too. 
So in the track, what, what language are you speaking? Like you, the mixture, there's Ghanaian pidgin, there's pidgin, there's Nigerian pidgin, there's English, there's Yoruba. Okay. Yeah, that's four. So, basically, in the, in the lines, yeah. what, what do you mean when you say Nawe Pi? Yeah, that, so that's Ghanaian pidgin. Uh -huh. Now I be saying I never get enough of you. That means like, that's why I can't get enough of you. Yeah. Okay. But the way it's said in Ghana is like now YBC. EBC, yeah, so. And this more ma Masari, so that's Yoruba. Masari, Masari, all the time is up. I'm going to like I'm going to run fast. Oh. Like anytime you need me, I'm going to run fast to come get you anywhere you are. That's so sweet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then you say Mashoti Oreke. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, so like the English word Mashori, like she's my, my girl. Then Oreke is like a nickname for your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a Yoruba nickname. Oreke, yeah. So you've gotten a chance to listen to some of Kenyan music. Yeah. What do you think of Wam Lambez, Wam Nyonyez? <laughs> okay, that, that's a jam, that's a jam. Like, there's this energy about the song that just makes you want to jump up and, and vibe. And vibe. That song is dope. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should work with them. We can yeah, hook yeah, you up. Yeah, I mean, it works with um, Karun. Mm -hmm. Karun. Uh, I think uh, I've forgotten his name. Nom. Yeah, Naibo, yeah, Naibo, Naibo, Naibo reached out today, so we could link up later tonight, yeah. Have you been watching Big Brother Nigeria? Yeah, just a bit, just a bit, <laughs> just a bit. I performed um, on the show last, last Sunday, yeah, yeah. And who are your favorite contestants on the show? Mm, I like Venita, I like Shay, I like, um, yeah, those two. I like Venita and Shay. Would you ever do reality TV? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Depends on how much you are going to win, you know, you know, yeah. <laughs> Depends on the money. Show him the money. So before you entered Empower, you worked with Mr. Easy on Faji. Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Faji. Yeah. So how does it compare then and after when you worked with him at Empower? How are those two experiences? Um, It's been great. Like, Easy, easy is so easy to related like at first I used to be tense anytime I was around easy because you know he's big and I'm just a small boy so but, but, but it made me familiarize with him and everything so working with easy has been great so far yeah what's the one thing you can say you've learned from Mr. Easy um consistency like you can't get to carry the way with your present achievements that like you forget that you're supposed to keep it going because that's how legends are made Legends are not made by just one act, like keep going, keep going. That's why Michael Jackson is a legend, he kept going for like more than 20 years. So that's actually my plan, consistency, yeah. You're part of a new wave of Afrobeats with uh, the guy who sang to maybe Rima, Rima and other acts. Yeah. What do you have to say about the new kind of Afrobeats, Banku music and... So so that that's like a new, like a breath of fresh air, like a new sound is coming. And and people are, are like people are catching up to it, and, and it's just great because we are all we're also young. Like that's like crazy. Young, like before, like three years before now, there was no young artist that actually had a hit song that actually broke out in Nigeria. Like this year, we had so many breakouts, uh, breakout acts like Rema, Joe Boy, Fireboy, Oxley. Yeah, there's a lot of young guys like popping in Nigeria right now, and that's like that's really encouraging. Yeah. Okay, last question. You've done a bit of traveling the past few months. What's one of the most memorable experiences you've had so far? Yeah, so when I was in, I've been in South Africa twice. Yeah, so the second time I went to Durban. And so there's like, there was like this hotel that we were by the ocean, like the Atlantic Ocean, and I could see the sunset, and it was so nice. And we were riding bicycles close to the water and everything. It was so cool. Yeah, so Durban. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for coming to the South. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Waiting me ah, nothing I can't do with my baby, my baby. Yo, what's up guys? This is Joe Boy and you're watching the sauce. Subscribe to Sauce for more content. Big ups.